Okay, we're going to do the same thing again for this problem. This is problem number 15 from the same assignment. The first thing we have to do is determine if our sequence is geometric, and if so, find the common ratio, the eighth term, and the explicit formula. We also have to find a sub 9 when we're done. So I'm going to do the calculator this time to find our common ratio. Remember that you just take your last term, which is negative 108, and you divide by your third term. So that gives me 3. Then I'm going to do my third term divided by my second term. That also gives me 3. And then negative 12 divided by negative 4, of course, we know that is also 3. So if we come up with the answer for each of those, we know that our common ratio is 3. So we have our first part of our problem done. We know r is 3. If r is 3, then we can also say that, yes, we have a geometric sequence. Okay, so now the next thing we have to do is find the eighth term. So re recall the formula, a sub n, and the more times you write this down, you will remember it, I promise you, a1 times r to the n minus 1. Okay, so if I want to find my eighth term, I'm looking for a sub 8, that means the eighth term, my first term is negative 4. My common ratio, remember, we found is 3. And if I'm looking for my eighth term, n is 8. Okay, so let's try and do this one a little bit more quickly. Let's type this one in exactly as I've written it on my calculator. Okay, so once you have it set up, you can actually do it like this. Negative 4, and then parentheses, 3, parentheses, raised to parentheses, 8 minus 1. So you have to be careful if you do it this way that you put all your parentheses in. And that works out to be negative 8,748. Negative 8,748 is equal to my eighth term. Okay, once you know your eighth term, you have finished this part. So, so far we found our common ratio r and we found our eighth term. The next part I'm going to do in green, I have to find my explicit formula. And remember that your formula is a sub n is equal to your first term, which is negative 4, times r, which is 3 to the n minus 1. And that is your explicit formula. An explicit formula is the formula rewritten with only n's as the variable and everything else gets replaced, okay? So now we're going to do our last thing where we have to find a sub 9. So once you have your formula, your formula can be used to find any term. So if I want to find a sub 9, I would do negative 4 times 3 to the 9 minus 1, okay? So my ninth term is negative 4 times 3 to the 8th. Notice I didn't do negative 4 times 3 and write 12. Because remember your order of operations. you got to do your exponents before you do your multiplication. So now I'm going to type this in as negative 4 times 3 to the 8th. So I'll clear my calculator. Negative 4 times 3 to the 8th. Think about why I didn't really need to use parentheses this time. Okay, negative 26,244. So a sub 9 is negative 26,244. There's my ninth term. And here is my explicit formula. I know that my common ratio is 3, so I know it's geometric. And this right here is my eighth term.